Hey everybody, Nick Dingle here for the third part of the Microsoft Word tutorial series. This one is just going to be a quick run through. We're just going to use Word as an everyday occurrence. Just a quick open up, do a few things, and then we'll carry on. In the next couple of tutorials, I'm then going to go into detail about specific things in the interface, how to use different functions, and so forth. I am going to also include activities. Now, for the first, this is the first screen you ever see. On the left hand side are documents I've worked on recently. And I can also open other ones down the bottom. We've got templates across the top, and then we've just got all these different documents. I'm just going to click on blank document, and you're going to see Microsoft Word in the flesh. Now, let's quickly explain a few terms which are really important. The white box in front of you is known as the document page, or your page. Okay, this little flashing thing here is known as the carrot. Okay, not carrot, it is the carrot. All right. What the carrot describes or shows you is the position in which the text is going to be inserted when you type, when you do something, or you insert a picture. So if I type something, it's inserted at the carrot. Okay. This little eye icon that keeps changing every now and again is my mouse cursor. Okay. So I can position my carrot in other places. Type brilliantly. Why not? All right, and we've got all sorts of things going on here. So I can continually type on the keyboard. I can just do gibberish and numbers and symbols. Hold shift and I get a whole other slew and capitals. Okay, if I press enter, it'll go down a line. It's also known as a return. All right, and I can type in awesome stuff and so forth. All right, it's not a very interesting way to describe Microsoft Word, I guess, but it's just a way for you to try, excuse me. The different features of it. All right, just type away, type some different things in. If you've got a document you need to type up right now, it's time to start it. Just start typing it up and do a few things. Now, let's say I'm finished with my document. I don't want to do anything else. Okay, it's brilliant. It's ready to go. I need to share it with a coworker. Okay, so what you do there is you come up to the top left hand side of the screen and there's a big save button. Okay, shaped like a diskette. If you're as old as me, you'll know exactly what a diskette is. That's how we used to save things before USB drives and CDs. So you click on that button and it's asking you where would you like to save it? Two places by default. OneDrive is your online version. Okay, and I'm not going to go to detail of what OneDrive is just yet. Just know that I don't use it very much. I use something similar, but not it. I'm going to save it to my computer. All right. And you can choose recent places that you saved, or I can just choose a simple spot by clicking browse and going to my documents and call and then saving my file just there. Now, if you've saved things before, you'd know how to use this pretty, pretty easily, the save dialog. If you've never saved before, you can quickly open up your different folders through the left hand side here. So I've got my downloads folder, I could go in there, I could go to my documents folder, which is just in here. Okay. And if I want another folder, let's say I want to save this inside a new folder called Word, I could click on New Folder, type in Word, and I could save it just inside here. The best thing I always recommend to people is give it a good file name. So I could call this my document. The Save As type, by the way, just leave that as it is. All right? Don't bother about changing that yet. Click on Save down the bottom. If you don't like what you've done and you don't really care for it, you can click cancel, but I'm going to click save and it's done. What I can actually do now, if I close this document entirely, I can go to my folder. So let's go to my documents folder for a second. So mine is under Nicholas documents and there's that word folder I created. So I can go inside of that and there's my document. If I double click on that, it's actually going to open the exact same document up in Word. There's a second way I can get to that document, and it's very similar to what we did initially. If I click on Word there, there's my document on the recents, just there. And so this is a permanent save. You cannot lose this unless I delete the file. The file somehow gets corrupted, or I lose my computer, or something like that. This file is going to be there until I don't want it anymore, basically. So think of it as... I don't know, invulnerable is probably the word until something happens to it. 
But yeah, that is a really basic run through of how to use Microsoft Word. Just typing up a document, saving it, and then reopening it to use it in the future. Okay. In the next video, we're going to start going through some of the interface. And I'm going to start with the top, which is called the ribbon bar. And I'm not going to say any more because I'm going to save it for the next video. So thanks for watching, everybody. Like, subscribe, comment down the bottom. But I'll see you in the next one. See you later.